<laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now, I'm just in St Kilda here. Just got out of uh, St Kilda Hostel. That's where I stayed last night. I uh, found these two little seats here on the side of the road. So it's like a nice little area in Melbourne. But um, yeah, St Kilda Hostel was quite a... Say quite a little, it's a bit rough around the edges, but some of the guys in there were really cool. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm getting picked up by a mate, Rob Wog. Sorry, I didn't even explain what I'm doing in Melbourne. I got driven over here by a um, couple, by my mate Case and his girlfriend, and we're going to World Vegan Day. So I've got, I've got an activist event later on tonight, and my mate Rob Wog is picking me up, and we're going to go check out Melbourne, get some lunch. I, I, did, I did a little bit of cruising around last night got some um vegan food went to a place called spud life got these killer pits potatoes and sweet potatoes as you can see on the screen and then i went and caught up with another mate at a all you can eat indian place 650 all you can eat indian which was pretty cool i'm gonna vlog my experience today show you what's going on in melbourne tomorrow's world vegan day with uh gonna catch up with james aspie and a heap of other vegans are gonna be there so that's going to be fucking epic. So stay tuned for this little series and I'll speak to you all in a sec. Boom. <laughs> My lifetime in between the paper's lines. I'm the quiet storm nigga who fight rhyme. P, yeah, you heard of him, but I ain't concerned with them. All right, so we've got Rob Wog and, and little Rob Wog here. Yeah. Little vegan. Little vegan. And um, so if you haven't checked out Rob on YouTube, check him out. He's taking me around um, Melbourne scene and we're going to go check out this place called Smith and Deli. So yeah, let's check it out. I take you to the candy shop I let you lick the lollipop Go ahead girl, don't you stop Keep going till you hit the spot Whoa. I take you to the candy shop yeah. One more taste of what I got uh -huh. Vegan tattoo? Uh, yep, that'll be fine I've got one coming in 11 but Yeah, no, that'll be fine, I'll set up another station Yeah, Mate, easy done You're a legend Shit thing about Melbourne is the weather, but <laughs> so that's one of Rob's um, tattoo shops. He's got two. You got two, yeah? yeah. And they're vegan tattoo shops. Even this, even this aftercare is vegan. Everything's vegan in there. So yeah, check it out. If you're vegan in Melbourne, go check out East Brunswick, East Brunswick tattoos. tattoos. What's the other one? Down to earth tattoos. Down to earth tattoos. So go get tattooed by Rob and his crew. <laughs> Boom. Okay, here we are. We're just rocking up to the, the second vegan restaurant of the day. It's called Loving Hut, all right? So, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can get here with no oil because I'm on the no oil train. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll check the menu and see if they can uh, sort out Joey without the oil. So, do you like tofu? Tofu? Tofu. Are you vegan? Yeah. Yeah. Nugget would like these. Maybe I should get them for him. Get some for Nugget. He's dropping it properly, slowly. Yeah. It's the Jess is here. The Jess. <laughs> okay, so I know exactly what I'm getting. So I'm going sushi, rainbow salad, pho, vegetables and rice. All right? Boom. He's good. He's juicy. Juicy? Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are back in the car again. I'm going to Birch Street Mall to do some uh, activism with the Anonymous for the Voiceless. Anonymous for the Voiceless team, great bunch of activists. They get a big group of people out there and they do a lot of, they convert a lot of people to veganism, so they're saving animals. So we're gonna go check them out. Good thing about being vegan is that there's vegans in every state, so you always find someone to hang out with and chill with, and yeah, Rob Wog's a legend. So yeah, let's go do it. Boom. <laughs> Anytime he comes to Adelaide, man, be sure, like, if he lets you know, let us know. I'd love to catch up with him, man. Fuck off, he's my mate only. I'm not sharing him with you. 
Oh, right, here we are. It's raining, so I'm just going to go find the other activists and see how they're going. Okay, so here the guys are setting up here. They've got TVs and a generator to generate the TVs so they can um, play the slaughterhouse footage on the TVs. So they've got a really good setup here, man. I'm very impressed, very impressed. Here we go. Here's the man, the director. You called me, man. All-star director over here, mate. I'm trying to hide oh, from the paparazzi. Oh, you papar too much paparazzi? Too much, mate, too much. Oh, so when's the red carpet um, award ceremony for the video, bro? Two months from now, bro. Two months from now? Yeah, yeah. On a beach in Hawaii. I'm still organising the boat to bring us up. Fucking hell, bro. You know what I mean? Very well done, mate. Very thanks, well done. Thanks, mate. You know, thanks, mate. Fuck the pressure. I felt the pressure we delivered. That's all I'm going to say. You delivered more than I expected, that's for sure. That's it, man. <laughs> All right, so a common running theme um, when you talk to people is they didn't think they don't think that this stuff happens in Australia, and uh, like for some reason they think Australia is like the head of welfare for animals in slaughterhouses. And I'm like, no, every place is bad like this. Some places are worse, but they're just the lesser of two evils. In, at the end of the day, that's the egg industry. But, guy just walked past with a big bit of salami in his hand and he just walked past. He didn't even really look at the screens, he just looked past the screens and kept walking. So the level of disconnect, man, is astounding. Hey, this little guy here is a little vegan activist, nine years old. Nine years old. Oh, we got photo bombed. <laughs> so we got Dim here and he's like uh, another happy customer, another potential yeah, vegan. Just selling, just selling the truth. He's not selling anything, he's just selling the truth. Gotta do it. He's just asking people not to kill animals, eh? Sometimes it's a bit hard though. It's a bit hard. It's a, it's a lot for them to stop killing animals. I, I mean, I know, I know. But they've been indoctrinated for so long, it's just... That's it, man. That's it. society. Got to be patient with them, don't we? That's it. I think I was there, I don't know if I... I went up for one of the... Uh, for a couple of the discussions. So these people walk past, they see the screens, and once they see it, they can't unsee what they just saw, so... Hopefully they think about that next time they buy a burger. Yeah. talking with one of the activists here I feel like it's very important for even though you, you have been turned vegan to to see the slaughterhouse footage as it happens and new slaughterhouse footage and, and you know the wool industry and all these different industries because it reinforces the reason why you're vegan it motivates you to be a better activist okay it might not be good easy to watch but imagine how hard it is for the animals so as a vegan watch the footage it reinforces the reason why you're speaking out for the animals and it gives you a stronger and pa more passionate conviction when you're speaking out for the animals. So watching slaughterhouse footage, even for vegans, even though it's not nice, it doesn't feel good, it helps you be a stronger activist, all right? All right, so we've got Noah here. How old are you, Noah? Um, I'm 11 years old. 11 years old, and how long have you been vegan for? Um, I've been eating vegan for three, four years. What made you go vegan? Um, just the fact that you eat another animal's flesh and how... They suffer? Yeah, and how disgusting it is. How they get treated in the slaughterhouse? Yeah. You seen slaughterhouse footage when you were young? Uh, no, I hadn't. Uh, but it was, yeah, I just looked at a lot of all the stuff in the butchers and thought it was pretty bad. Wow, so you didn't even see this, you just knew that eating meat was, was wrong just by looking at it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, the, the, the future is in the hands of the youth. Pretty you, much. You can educate your friends about this? Yeah, you, yeah. Do you do, you, do you do it? You educate yeah, your friends? Yeah, I wow. do, I do. Yeah. That's inspirational, see that's what I'm talking about, the, the youngsters these days are really starting to wake up to it. Hey. You gotta stay alive somehow. Yeah, but I, I haven't eaten animals for three years. Still alive, yeah, healthy. The, whole, the rest of the world stopped eating animals. Who's gonna eat the animals? So they're starving people in other countries so they can feed that grain to the animals. So if we just ate the grain, right, and stop feeding the grain to the animals, we, we would abolish world hunger. Yeah, but I eat rice, potatoes, corn, no, no, pasta. Truth be told, what they're doing is fucked up. It's not worth it, bro. We can get alternatives. Like, you can buy. Um, all the food you want, like anything you want that you eat now, you can get vegan versions of, bro. 
like ice cream, burgers, uh, cakes, all vegan, dude. Um, you know, pasta, uh, rice, pizza, all that shit's all vegan, bro. You don't have to do that. You can still eat, man. Like we live in Australia, bro. Food everywhere, all different types. We just made this time, like. Except farm animals? Except farm animals. Okay, so we're packing up here now with the Melbourne crew. Bam. Okay, there we go. Uh, thanks for coming, guys. So let's get a bit of a tally happening. Oh, you know what? I'll probably have to say six or seven people walked away and they were like, no, I don't think it. I honestly don't think it was me. I think it was the footage and a combination of the footage and the education. They were already, I looked at their faces and they were already, yeah, but yeah, so I'd have to say six or seven, but I don't know if they'll go vegan, but I know that they'll take it seriously and they'll be walking around with a lot of guilt because of it. That, that, that's what we're yeah. counting as well. We're well, they'll have to walk away with this feeling in their stomach like they're, they're killing animals for the rest of their life. So that's, for no reason. Yeah. so I feel like that's a seed waiting to yeah, sprout. Yeah. All right, so what they were doing there, they're just taking a tally of the amount of people that they talked to, who seen the footage, they educated, and who took it seriously when they walked off. Like, uh, you could tell that the people that were really disturbed and disgusted by what they saw, and that would be, they would be making a change. If they didn't make a change, and they'll be living inconsistent with their morals, and they'll be living with this guilt. But yeah, that's just sort of a tally. They said 48 people, uh, around 50 people, so we'll say, you know, walked away. They will, they might, think twice before they buy the meat off their shelves so all right so just out the front of this place Smith and Daughters this is on Brunswick Street in Melbourne so Brunswick Street has got it's like vegan territory there's vegan restaurants all up and down Brunswick Street so that's where you got to be if you're a vegan I just had to get some rice first because uh, got to get the carbs in Vegan food? You've got egg, rice. Oh. oh, sorry, mate. Here we are, just uh, in my little in my little bed here. It's a little bit better than that St Kilda hostel that I stayed in. No, it was a fucking really good day today. It was good to catch up with all the activists at dinner. We we're talking about some really revolutionary stuff that will be coming up. It's good to catch up with James Aspie, and um, I'll see him tomorrow at World Vegan Day. And we, me and him have got a collab coming up. I'll be hosting his. 24 hour tattoo uh, live stream. So we've got that to organize. But yeah, World Vegan Day tomorrow. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Boom.